In this video, you will learn how to assemble a hearth pullout cabinet. To assemble this cabinet, you will need the following tools and supplies. A power drill equipped with a Phillips head bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet, and a staple gun. While an air-powered pneumatic staple gun will make the job easier, you can also use an inexpensive manual staple gun. We tested the Aero Model T50 Heavy Duty Staple Gun with success, and this model can be found for under $20 at most hardware stores. You'll also need the appropriate 3 8 or 10 mm staples for your staple gun, as well as a bottle of wood glue, which will form the primary bond that holds your cabinet together. Start off by applying a bead of wood glue into the grooves on the back side of the face of the cabinet. Wipe off any excess glue with a clean cloth. Slide the side panel into place in the groove and secure it using 90 degree assembly brackets. Remember that the actual location of these brackets is not as critical as just getting a good snug fit. These brackets are just there to hold everything in place while the glue dries. The glue is what will form the primary bond that will hold the cabinet together. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Slide the top and bottom panels into place and secure them using 90 degree assembly brackets as well. Put the brackets on just one side for now so that you'll be able to slide the back panel into place. Slide the back panel into place and ensure that it is a good snug fit all the way around and that all of the edges are flush. Once the back panel is in place, you can install the 90 degree assembly brackets on the other side. Do the same on the opposite end of the cabinet. Apply staples along the seams on the back side of the cabinet. Secure the back side of the cabinet with inch and three quarter wood screws in the pre-drilled holes. Now 
Now it's time to assemble the pullout. Apply wood glue into the dovetails as shown. Insert the side pieces into the dovetail joints as shown, using the groove as your guide. You can use a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer to ensure a flush fit. It's very important to make sure that these joints are flush so that nothing will rub when the cabinet is opening and closing. Reinforce the dovetail joints with staples. Once you have the side pieces in place, you can slide in the bottom shelves. Now you're ready for the back pieces. Apply some wood glue into the dovetails before inserting it into place. Again, make sure that the connection is flush and reinforce it with staples. Next, insert the plastic rail supports into the back of the cabinet using the pre-drilled holes as shown. Fasten them in place using the included screws. Now we'll connect the metal drawer glide rails into the plastic guides. Here's a close-up of how they connect. Fasten them in place using the included screws.
Now it's time to put the pull out onto the drawer glides. A helpful tip is to prop the back side of the cabinet up slightly so that the drawer glides will stay extended while you insert the pull out. Carefully ensure that each one of the drawer glides finds its home in the pre-drilled holes on the underside of the pullout's shelves. Finally, install bumpers onto the back side of the pullout's face in each of the corners. 